Hi guys, I'm Darren and in this video we're going to be looking at control surface differential in iNav. So this could be deja vu for a few of you guys. A few days ago I did release a video on this and I had a comment saying that there's actually a better way of doing this and potentially uh, it could have affected uh, automated flight modes. So as soon as I found that out I did pull the video and let people know with a message on my uh, community post. Um, and this is a replacement video and it's actually a lot quicker and easier to do it with this method so it's really nice that to, uh, Tobias actually shared that with me so thank you Tobias. If you have set up a model using the previous method please reset your mixer you can delete the two logical switches and we'll do it this way. But what is differential? <laughs> okay so this is our aircraft now, differential is something that applies to ailerons, or in this case, elevons. It's basically the roll control surface. And what it does is, normally, if you want to turn, we will do that. We'll get our full deflection, and the plane will roll. So, if we have, like, a balanced equal deflection, it will do that, and the plane will roll. The problem is that this one that's going down is actually causing adverse yaw with the drag it creates. So what differential does is actually reduce the amount of downward throw. So we have less downward throw than we have upward throw. And that actually reduces the adverse yaw and just gives you better turns. Now, where is this useful? A flying wing is a prime example. There's no rudder, so you can't counteract the adverse yaw. So it's better if we can actually, uh, you know, try and eliminate it in the first place. But also, if you have a glider, you can get um, smoother turns and lose less altitude if you're firmling that sort of thing. So it does have its advantages. Right. What thing I should say before uh, we get started with the INAV part is you can actually set this up mechanically and it is better to do it mechanically. And what you do is just adjust the servo geometry so that in the neutral position, it will have more throw in the up direction than in the down direction. So you just move it around on the spline a bit and then just get it so that there's more up than down. And that's as simple as it is when you uh, center it obviously versus the center position will be more towards the down so that then you have more throw up than you do down but for the sake of this we're going to do it in INAV as you can see on the desk I've got my little model set up and uh, that's all working so if I put it in manual we have our full deflection here right so let's head into the mixer and what I'm going to do is I'm using INAV 3.0.2 and the first thing I want to point out is that this graphic is wrong. Um, it is fixed in the next version of INAV, so don't worry. What you need to look at is this bar down here, which has your servo function and then the output map. Now, the servo function is this section down here, the servo mixer. And we can see that servo 3 is stabilized roll and pitch. And also, in this case, so is servo 4. It does it in order, left to right. So servo 3... The function servo free is going to be our left servo. So if we come back up to the output mapping, look at function servo free, which is our left servo, that goes to S3. So this box here should really be free for S3. And this one here should be four for S4 for the right hand side. On the aileron image, it's actually correct. That's probably what's happened is it's been copied across from here. Um, so four and five are the servos that you want to use for left and right on the aeroplane. So we'll just do this with the Elevon mix as that's what I've already got loaded up. So what we need to do is just remember that servo three is our left and servo four is our right. So let's start with a quick look at the transmitter. We have different ways of describing how this function works. I'll do it with the yaw so it doesn't move anything on the, the servo. But we, we have describing it in microseconds, so 1,000 microseconds to 2,000. With the throttle, we have a percentage 0 to 100. And also, we have a 0 in the middle, minus 100 on the left, and positive 100 on the right. And that's what we're going to be looking at here. We, we need to remember that positive and negative. So if we're going left which is the same, of course, on the roll. 
we need to be in a negative if we're going right it's a positive so on this servo 3 for stabilized roll what we're going to do is actually change that because servo 3 is left we're going to go stabilize roll negative and we're going to use that for our full deflection weight so our full weight on this mix is 50 percent on an aileron it could be 100 percent but whatever you've got there you want the full rate to be on left is negative likewise this one is the right so that is going to be servo roll positive because again it's our full weight this time note minus 50. now what we're going to do is add two mixer rules for the uh, opposite of that so the first one again we'll stick on servo three and this is our left hand servo so this now is if we're turning right so we have stabilized roll positive and this is going to be our reduced weight for our uh, differential so i'm going to set it to 20 percent so that it's nice and obvious on on the model and again we'll do the same with servo four but this time because servo four is the right servo we did it turning right first we need to do it turning left now which left is stabilized your negative and this time we want minus 20. so what we need to do is just save and reboot and then we can check it out right so here we are i'm in manual and now if i roll to the right you can see the right hand servo is moving the same amount but the left hand one is deflecting a lot less and again if i roll to the left i'll try not to put pitch in you can see the same is true the right hand servo is not going down as far as it was and the left hand is going up so we know our differential is working and more importantly if i to put this in angle mode we will see if the aircraft is banking round the differential is actually still working so this will work absolutely fine in automated flight modes right so just for demo purposes that's the full deflection you can see when i roll right that is coming down below the plywood oh sorry that's in angle so yeah when i roll to the right it's the left is coming down below the plywood with the differential on it was pretty much coming level and rolling to the left again this is coming down below where with the differential it was pretty much level with regards to setting up the differential you don't really want it that low to begin with i would maybe drop it down 10 20 percent at top so maybe split the difference go 35 percent and then what you just want to do is fly it and see how it feels what you want it to ideally do is when it's turning it just tracks straight so that that would be the perfect situation so this is now on 35 percent and again just rolling left and right you can see on the down it's going down less than it was with no differential at all so there you go guys i hope you found this video useful i'm really really sorry about the first video and how that could have negatively affected you what the one thing i really don't want to happen is for you guys to have problems with something that i've suggested that's why as soon as i found out well that there could have been an issue i pulled the video plus this method is actually a lot easier and a lot quicker to set up you don't need any logic conditions you can just set it all up in the mixer and it works great so again, thank you, Tobias, and thank you all for watching. See you on the next one.